Ready? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Start your engines. Okay, start your engines. There you go, good girl. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Start your engines. Okay, start your engines. There you go, good girl. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. We are back. We are zero of, of 50 here. They should be gridding up momentarily. They are on the grid. We are good. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was me and my daughter. Uh, now we're set here to do 50 laps. Um, I I believe, you know, everybody's more than likely going to mind their P's and Q's and, and just take it easy. It's, it's a, I mean, 50 laps is a, a, long, a long day here, so there's no need to... Uh, Really go real crazy right off the start. Anyway, I'll give you the starting lineup here. Second. Hit it. Go. Um, we got on the pole, we have uh, Jason Rome took a, the pole. Jeff Zappa is second. Gerald Poole is third. Larry Ashby is fourth. Uh, Nicole Creasel, fifth there. She slotted into fifth. Chris Parker, sixth. Jimmy Johnson, seventh. Brian Oshenska, eighth. Bill Percy, ninth. John Schmidt, tenth. David Garman Jr. is 11th. AJ Godsey, 12th. Uh, 13th is William Mann Jr., a.k.a. the Man Slammer. 14th is DJ Kinner. 15th is Jeff Hinkle. 16th, Stoy Boy. 17th, Mark Dantuma. 18th is Brandon Springer. And 19th, Michael Smith. 20th, Norman Chan. And 21st should be AJ, but he might not have gridded. Um, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. He is up there in 12th. So we're good. That is the field 20th. 20 trucks going to start tonight. Should be exciting. And we are rolling here. I look for, um, AJ and, uh, AJ, Brandon, and, uh, Stoy. And Mike Smith and even Larry Ashby, I look for them to, to come. Well, Larry Ashby qualified, so he's already there. But I look for uh, Eric Stoy, Brandon Springer, and Mike Smith to uh, tag up and come quickly to the front um, when they deem it's you know time and you know go time. Because again, you don't want to you don't want to you only get one fast repair here, and you hate to have that used up on you know lap two or three. Then you got to be real cautious the rest of the way through. You don't got that in the bank. Try to pull somebody in if we do get a caution under caution and see if we can get a fuel number here i'm not really sure what the fuel is if i had a guess i would say i don't know 30 maybe 30 35 laps something like that it could be wrong might be a little lower big track uh again you know if you stay in the draft that obviously you know will uh help your fuel mileage so you jason rome here if he's able to get a good start and you know maybe he doesn't want to lead too much because you're gonna you're gonna burn that much more fuel while everybody else gets to save and you definitely if we do get the green flag pit stops you do not want to pit alone uh you will lose draft for sure if you pit alone so definitely want to make sure you have some partners when you go down getting ready to come to the green here the pace truck is off field is um the first uh start is um you have to go on the green uh, any start or restart after that is a uh, leader's choice when he wants to go as long as the pace truck is off So the first start here, they're just gonna wait for the green but Jeff playing it a little safe there on the outside. He's lagging a little bit behind Oh Jeff having a little connection issues there looks like he stabilized a little bit green flag. Green flag is out. Jason Rome going to lead him down. Jeff Zappa gets a decent run there on the outside, though. I would maybe try to blip the throttle and tuck in behind. And again, you can uh, side. The trucks uh, have a pretty good draft package. The 
cup cars not so much um but there you definitely can use a side draft to your advantage uh but in doing that you know tucking in real close like that uh you don't really give the bottom person a lot of room and sometimes it causes an accident uh looks like jeff zappa gonna go to the lead here does he cut down or does he stay up high it's like he's content staying up high there Yep, he's gonna lead uh lead lap uh, two there. They got a quite the train up there on the high side. Let's check in on uh, Eric Stoy, AJ Godsey there. You got there's a turtle truck I was mentioning. Uh, so Eric Stoy is Donatello, AJ Godsey is behind in Leonardo, and directly behind them is Mr. Springer in Raphael. Uh, Mike Smith in the ten back there is supposed to be running with Michelangelo, but he might not have had time to uh, get that paint set up. Anyway, they are, AJ and Eric there are hooked up. And I feel it won't be long until they go to the front. They're just kind of feeling it out, make sure no no craziness happens. Uh, Brian Oshenska is up four spots here. Oh, I hear That's about clear. I don't know why you can't hear Earl. Can you hear me? Looks like Larry Ashby was involved. Did not hear him call that caution. He did a check. You're right. If I can get that to you here. Oh, looks like Jason Rome was also involved. Then Larry comes back up, gets into Gerald Pool. Oh, hard into the inside of the pit wall there. Oh, man. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get that other angle here. This shows it. Oh. There we go. Jason, there you are. Here we go. This ought to show it. Looks like the 19 is really tight on all oh, the 19 kind of uh, just real tight on uh, Larry Ashby's bumper um, and just kind of turns him uh, down into Jason so the fast repairs will definitely be used there for sure so Jeff La uh, Jeff Zappa leading a lot of laps here he's gonna lead uh, the only one he didn't lead so far is the first one. He's led everyone since. So, uh, let's see if we can pull somebody in here while we're under caution, because they definitely won't be coming down pit road. If we can find Mr. Zappa. Jeff Zappa, this is uh, Rich up in the booth. You got a copy, bud? Yeah, I got you, Rich. Hey, buddy. So uh, walk me through that uh, that start, man. You just kind of – Jason led the first lap, but you just kind of took off there on the outside, uh, and you've led every lap since. Uh, how's, how's the truck, and, and what was the strategy there taking that lead? Well, the, the truck's running really good, and uh, I had a good, good partner there. I had Larry Ashby pushing me. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, – Looked like he got turned behind me, and uh, he took and hit Jason. I don't, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, truck's running good. Hopefully, we can keep it out here. Well, that's good. Uh, hopefully, you can uh, you can bring this one home. I know I'm pulling for you. Uh, the 19 got into the Larry Ashby, turned him down into Jason. So just just a little, you know, just a little too close on the bumper. But that's you know, he should be able to get a fast repair, and hopefully, he can get back up there and uh, push you to, you know, out in front and keep you out there, buddy. Yep, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Thanks, Richie. 10-4, buddy. That was uh, Jeff Zappa, your leader. Uh, we Let me see here. Let me see if I can pull somebody else in here. I better wait here just in case they uh it's uh actually let's grab Nicole. Nicole, this is uh Rich up in the booth. Do you got a copy? Yeah, how's it going? 
Uh, hey, I'm going good. You know, I'm watching a, a good race here. Uh, so, uh, how's the truck? And can you deliver uh, the win here? On I know this is one of, you love coming to these uh, restrictor plate tracks. Um, I'm hoping I can deliver the win because I'm really wanting one right now. But I, I'm, you know, pretty confident up here in fifth. So a little bit nervous though. Ten four. Well, I think you'll be all right. You. You, you, you can't wait for these tracks, and you, you always seem to do very well at them. So good luck, you know, on your way to the front, and hopefully I'm talking to you at the end of this thing. All right, thanks. That was Nicole. That's what she said, Creasel. Uh, let's see if we can get her truck up here. She's in fifth, and that is the Gremlins truck that looks really awesome. I don't know who painted it, but if I had a guess, it looks... Like Brian Oshenska's work, but I I can't confirm that. I guess we'd have to ask him that under another caution, maybe. But it is a very cool truck. Uh, let's see if we got lights out here on this truck. Lights are out on the pace truck. We should be going green this time by. Not really sure where we're at on the track here, because I wasn't paying attention. Um... Looks like we might be going on to the... Yeah, we're going on to the backstretch. Um, let's see if we have time to pull somebody else in here. I better not. I better not. So hopefully uh, they got the, the, uh, the kinks worked out of it and can maybe get some uh, green flag uh, runs here. Because uh, green flag pit stops are so much more fun. If we can get to green flag pit stops, that really kind of shakes it up some. And uh, pit road's a little tricky to get onto as well because you you kind of it's like a you know you're almost like on a straightaway so you're at like full speed you know 180 200 miles an hour and sometimes getting it slowed down in time is not the easiest you either get a speeding penalty or you just lock up the brakes and you end up you know turning the nose into the inside wall and that's just a whole different set of problems because now you got to fix damage and all that good stuff so always exciting to uh, watch green flag pit stops. We are in coming out of turn four here. Should be going green. Pace truck doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> it was trying to pull off there, but it's like it will indeed pull off. And Jeff Zappa will um, determine when we go green here, as this is the second start, so it is under his control. Whenever he wants to go, the pace truck's off. He can go whenever. You see the 19 kind of getting real close to his side draft in there like i said you can do that but it uh you don't leave that inside guy a lot of, a lot of room for error when you do that so um just got to try to do it with as much caution as you can we are back green flag racing here jeff zapp is on the inside chris parker is on the outside brian oshenska is fourth on the outside and jimmy johnson on the inside is third and slammer getting real close to jimmy johnson there David Garman coming up there on the high side behind uh, Bill Percy. Looks like, uh, oh, looks like they might go three wide here. It looks like Brian kind of got pushed to the outside. They are three wide right now. Uh, Bill Percy's going to go with Brian up there on the top, Brian Oshenska, and push him. They sh oh, David Garman going to hook up with uh, Chris Parker. And looks like the ball, oh, looks like the man slammer got into, uh, no harm, no foul. He got into Jimmy Johnson there a little bit. Hey, Brian, they might be four wide back here. Oh, Jason Rowe, I'm going to go right through the middle. Jason Rowe is not wasting any time. Move him up to fifth. Going to get behind Garmy there. All right, looks like they might have settled down here. Oh, let me, why, yeah, this John Schmidt truck is really cool. It's a Christmas-inspired uh, truck. That's a neat one. Running right next to Nicole. Check on AJ and the boys back here. Kind of, oh, AJ's here. Got Stoy, Springer. They're just kind of chilling back there. Again, you don't need to be going yet. Jeff Hinkle a little bit. Chris Parker is your leader. 
Jeff Zappa tucked in behind him. Jason Rome down there in the bottom as well. Oh, little bump drafting out of Zappa there. It's good. Uh, David Garman's going to get to his outside. Looks like Brian Oshenska here trying to make it three wide on the outside of Garman. They back out of it, though. Look at Nicole going. Go, Uh-oh, something must have happened to Brian. Or he just backed out of it. Smart move. Nicole going by the inside of Bill Percy there. That would be something special if she was able to get her first win here tonight. That would be really cool. I know Nicole really loves the uh, restrictor plate tracks and thrives on them. And no, that would be just everybody's pulling for Nicole to get her her first win in either trucks or cup. Jeff Zappa is tucked so far up Chris Parker's behind. It's crazy. In fact, let me see if I can uh, give you that view real quick. That's out the back of Chris Parker's truck. And if Jeff, uh, if Jeff Zappa gets any closer, he'll be able to taste what he has for lunch. And you can see his engine. There you go. <laughs> no cooler shot than that. You can't get much closer than that, huh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. So that's how close it is. Literally, his engine is, you know, in a spoiler. Again, you really, I mean, you know, just... Like I said, be, you don't want to really be out in front because you're going to burn that much more fuel. It's going to make you have to pit sooner than everybody else, and that could potentially bring you down without a partner, and then you've got a whole different set of problems. You could go from leading to out of the draft and way far behind. So, Looks like they're single filing out here. Dave Garman, Nicole Creasel making a move. She's up to fifth here, passing uh, Dave, Dave Garman on the inside. So like she's bringing DJ Kenner with. Uh, Bill Percy's going to get behind uh, Garmy. John Schmidt's going to follow his, behind Bill Percy there. But these uh, guys and gals are playing nice now. Got those you know pre-race jitters out, and they're starting to get into a little rhythm here. Get some good green flag racing. Looks like the Manslammer going to pull up in front of Garmy. We are 10 laps deep out of 50, 40 laps to go. Ooh, uh, Manslammer got a little little loose out of that turn there. But they are making, uh-oh, Zappa going to get, I don't know if he got loose and went down below there or what happened. Jason Rome going to jump up in front of the Manslammer and get a, try to have him and uh, Dave push uh, him to the top. Oh, Bill Percy back there, super loose. Nice save by Bill Percy. I thought that truck was a goner. Oh, the top groove is top groove is a coming baby led by Jason Rome he's got the man slammer pushing behind and then David Garmin behind him looks like it kind of stalled out there a little bit PJ Kinder to the inside of Jason Rome Nicole Creasel up to third move Nicole up to third Jason Rome with that move kind of fell back a little bit here. It looks like everybody jumped out of the high side and went down below. That's the thing with this uh, track. You don't ever, oh, William, man, picks up. Slices down to the inside there. And it looks like they're all, everybody's going to the inside here. Oh, John Schmidt almost got into uh, back. Let's see if we ride here. Take a ride on board with the... Uh, and slammer. Let you kind of see what it looks like from the uh, cockpit view in the middle of the pack, just about mid pack. There's not there's not a lot of field of view. I mean, especially when you're tucked up right behind it, like you can't. It's, sometimes it's hard to see your turning point and stuff like that. That's and also you'll get hot too if uh, you tuck too close up in their uh, rear spoiler. You'll have to you have to kind of come out, let it breathe, or or you'll overheat, and that's not good. You can hear how he's lifting on the throttle, though, uh, which is good. He's saving gas, but that also tells me there's a lot of people on the inside lane, and it's being checked up. J. 
Mason Rome now dropped down to the bottom. He's going to tuck in behind Nicole. Does Nicole pull up in front of Garmy? Well, you can tell they're getting loose off the turns now. You got, I mean, you got 13 laps on the tires, so I mean, they don't wear terribly, but they they definitely handle. They do handle different. It's not a terrible handling, but you'll you'll definitely see them get noticeably looser uh, from when they started. DJ Kane are going to tuck up there on the rear uh, spoiler of David Garmin. John Schmidt's up there. Mark Dantuma. Where's AJ at? Where are these boys at? <clears throat> oh, there we go. We got them all. This 10 truck should be a turtle truck. but So we got uh, Mike Smith, AJ Godsey, Eric Stoy, and Brandon Springer uh, all chilling back here. AJ is one of the best pushers, uh, probably the best that I know. Uh, he's pushed me to the front many times on these tracks. I don't know how he does it. He just... He gets tucked right up there, and he won't—he won't pull out until uh, until that bad boy is red and overheating. So I have a feeling what they're doing back here. You got a four four trucks. You're kind of a little bit off the pack. Um, you can save fuel, and they'll probably rotate out, you know, between who's leading the pack just to save more fuel for everybody. But um, they're gonna what they're gonna do here is is have a four pack breakaway. And on the pit stop, try to try to jump the rest of the field. That's what I'm thinking they're going to do. Back to the front. Chris Parker, Jeff Zappa. You got uh, Dave Garman uh, is side drafting the hell out of Jeff Zappa here. He moves up a little bit, though. Nicole coming right on through there. Oh. Got Nicole. Uh, Jason Rome, Bill Percy, they're all good buddies. Uh, the man slammer, ooh, he almost got into uh, Bill Percy. Checked out of it though. Uh, looks like Garmy is going to get in front of Nicole here. And they're going to try to go catch uh, Zappa and Parker, who stretched it out a little bit, but not too far. They'll They'll be able to pull that back up. Again, you don't you don't need to lead all these laps. Oh man, okay. Uh, little side draft in there on the lap truck of Larry Ashby. It looks like he did use his fast repair, but he must have got out of shape there and maybe lost the draft. Looks like Garmy gonna jump down to the bottom and get uh, tucked behind Chris Parker. Nicole gonna go with Zappa. Jason gonna split him in the middle. Jason is in the. Oh, this is tight. This is gonna get hairy. Excellent job on everybody's part there. I thought that was game over. You can tell it's getting down to crunch time, and we're, we're, we're coming up on uh, 20 laps here out of 50. So um, you're going to probably, I think it might just be one pit stop, depending on the fuel mileage. It should be one pit stop. Uh, that should get, oh, oh, Nicole looks like she's having a moment to get on her. All right, very good. They they all saved it. You can see the trucks are getting uh, extremely loose now with all these uh, laps on the tires. Uh, Zappa is making moves. Oh, he's the lone man out there though on the top. That's not good. Let's see if anybody comes up to help him. Otherwise, he'll probably get freight trained very quickly. DJ Kinner on the inside of Zappa. Jason Rome going to follow, bringing the man slamming with. Bill Percy's up there on the outside with uh, Zappa and Mark Dantuma, Gerald Poole. Looks like Jimmy Johnson back there. So it's definitely a, a, a battle. Um, you know, one lap, one lane will have everybody in it. And then you just don't ever know which lane is going to. looks like Jason Rome is popping up. You don't ever know which lane is going gonna, is gonna to be moving at one time. So it's, you know, it's tough to judge which one to be in. So. Looks like the top groove uh, got it going. Bill Percy trying to push Jeff Zappa back out to the lead. It looks like he's just about clear if he wants to leave, but I don't know that he'll leave Bill Percy high and dry like that. But he's clear to come down if he chooses. Looks like he's going to stay with his pusher. Oh, Bill is right up on there.
Let's see if we can get this view. This is out the left rear of uh, Zappa. Oh, looks like he might have, looks like Bill might have got him a little bit. Oh, they're close. Chris Parker is still your leader. Now, if this top can get organized, sometimes if you just have a couple trucks up top, it will go faster than maybe five or six trucks down below if they're very or organized. If they're tight, tight to each other, you will get a good run. Um, times, th you know, three or four trucks that are real good at, you know, real tight to each other will go faster than eight trucks up there if it's just all uncoordinated. And, you know, you got one person and then another one like three or four back, you know, you want to be as close as you can to and Bill Percy is demonstrating that. I wonder if he's pulling out, he might be pulling out because he's hot, but it is tough when you're tucked up behind to judge the turning points. Sometimes that'll catch you and you don't want to spin somebody, so. And Larry Ashby's got a, got a fast truck if he can ever get that lap back. Uh, Bill Percy is going to leave Jeff Zappa, go to the outside of him. They're going to be three wide here with Garmy in a second. Uh, no help for Percy. Uh, man, that might bite him. He might have a little room to get back in if uh, Mark Dantuma cuts him a break. It looks like he does. That's such a, a risky move, man. When you when you do that, if uh, such a crappy feeling if nobody comes with you because you, you know you're probably going to the back and it looks like everybody's on the inside lane right now as uh, they're all going by Zappa and Percy. Jason Rome up to third. Been having a good good run here. Looks like he has slight damage on the uh, on the, the uh, right front of the truck, but it doesn't look like it's performance impacting, but it's hanging in there. Twenty-one uh, deep here out of fifty. Um, we should be coming close to pit stops here in, I don't know, another eight or nine laps, somewhere around there. Um, you know, for Chris Parker here, he's been out leading this thing the majority of the race, um, along with Zappa. So, oh, we already got pit stops. The turtle trucks have already done it, it looks like here. Looks like they have. They're, uh, looks like Brandon Springer lost the, lost the pack there, so that's going to hurt. But it looks like, good strategy here. Okay, so they, they hung around on the lead lap. And now they're going to get the full benefit of, of a full pack draft. It's essentially like they're leading, right? And then everybody else is going to, oh, they're peeling off now. So now AJ and Eric need to push, push, push. Let's see. When they when AJ and Eric went in, they were they're around 14th, 13th and 14th. Half the field is on pit road right now. I want to see where they come out and if this strategy worked. Because I know it has before for us in the past when me and AJ tried it. So let's, let's see what we get here. And they got a decent pack here, you know, so it's not just two of them out there. They got it, you know, they're moving here. Let's see where they, where they slot in here. Jeff Zappa is still on pit road. Gerald Poole is still on pit road. Chris Parker, Garmin, Kinner, Hinkle, and Dan Tuma all are still on pit road. And we are, they are coming around turn, uh, turn three and four here. And it looks like they're still on pit road. It's going to be close. Uh, Zappa's on off a of pit road now. It's gonna be real close. I think I think that group did it. I don't think AJ and, and Eric are gonna get there in time. Let's see where Yeah, Jeff uh, Jeff and Garmy here are coming off. Yeah. They are uh but they they're they're a duo, so let's, let's go back here. Let's let's kind of stick with this. I I think this is going to be your move right here. Uh, it's not as much ground as what I thought. They're going to gain some spots, but yeah, only like two spots. They kind of maintained where they're at here, but they have a pretty big pack. So Bill Percy, your leader here. He's up eight spots from where he started. He's uh, actually leading and directly behind them. So they still have to pit. looks like Bill's coming down. Uh, Jason Rome is coming down. Looks like Jimmy Johnson. Uh, looks like the Man Slammer and Nicole Kreese are all coming down to pit road here. Excellent job on getting everything woed up here and 
No, nobody hit, nobody locked up, all good. This should put uh, Jeff Zappa back to the lead. He's got a, a very good drafting partner in uh, David Garman Jr. Uh, they have stretched it. I mean, they are... I mean, I don't know that Mark Dantuma has the uh, the draft. He's close, but I think uh, I think he's out of it. I think if if they stay tucked like this, um, this could be this could be the move here. I don't know. That, I mean, the other pack is big and could over time. There is, you know, still 30 some laps to go, but or 20, 24, 26. Um, so there is still time to run them down. But I like Zappa and uh, Garmin's. Uh, strategy here and looks like they're going to make their way by Nicole. Uh, they're going to get Bill Percy. Looks like Jimmy Johnson and Jason Rome though. Uh, I think they're going to come. Oh, they're coming out now. Let's see. This is going to be close. I think they're going to be all right. Man slammer going up high. Uh, looks like Garmin. And, oh, I don't know what they're doing there. Oh, never mind. They're going to Carmen and Zappa gonna go right to the to the bottom there and and uh, kind of power move uh, Jason Manslammer and Jimmy Johnson. But again, they're three trucks; they should be able to catch back up. Twenty-five laps to go here. It looks like we have a five or six car field. Let's uh, reset for you. We got uh, in first position. We got uh, Jeff Zappa. David Garman Jr. is second. Jason Rome is third. William Mann Jr. is fourth. Jimmy Johnson fifth. Mark Dantuma is sixth. And that's your first six breakaway. They stay like this. There ain't nobody catching them. Bill Percy is then in seventh. Oh, I'm sorry. Bill Percy has tagged on to that. Uh, so you have a seven car, a seven truck there. Gerald Poole is eighth, and he is back with this big group of uh, Gerald, DJ Kenner, Jeff Hinkle, Eric Stoy, Nicole Creasel, AJ Godsey, Mike Smith, Brandon Springer, and Chris Parker. So Chris Parker pitted from the lead, and he went all the way back to 16th. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, maybe a speeding penalty or something. Something doesn't seem right there. He lost 10 spots, so... Um, now we're going to see if these guys can run down the other group. And the way they are right now with their side-by-side -side like that, that's not going to get it done. Uh, what they need to do is, I know it sucks because everybody wants to race and stuff. You need to all just get in line, straight, single file, and you will catch those group. But if you do this side-by-side -side stuff, uh, you won't. So uh, Gerald Poole, DJ Kinder need to slot in or... However you want to slice it, whoever you want to let be in front, doesn't really matter. The end goal is you need to all be in a straight line to, to make progress on the next group. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting for just these spots. No. See if they can get that organized here. Let's go back up to the front. Jason Rome is uh, to the front. Looks like Bill Percy uh, pushed him up to the high side. He's got Jimmy Johnson up on the high side. And you got Jeff Zappa, David Garman, and the man slammer. Down low, Mark Dantuma is on the bottom as well, and it looks like, is that Chris Parker? He just went a lap down, so Chris Parker is in the 16th lap down, but he is on the back of that. So something something happened on, on the pit stop there, not really sure what, um, but nonetheless, he went from leading to a lap down in 16th, so he's going to be he's gonna need a caution. Okay, so these these boys are side by side. Let's see what AJ and Eric are doing. Very good. They all got single file. This is what you need to do. If they continue to do what they are doing right now, this group, no doubt in my mind, they will catch the group in front of them because the other group in front of them is side by side. But they need to, everybody needs to kind of get tucked up in there. I know it's tough to get uh, formed up. And uh, you don't want to be popping out and all that good stuff. Just single file and they will catch the group in front guaranteed with 22 laps to go being set there side by side 100 percent nicole's kind of popping out back there um she needs to just tuck in and then wait till he catches the pack and then make uh these moves 
There you go. Get down, Nicole. You got it. Uh, Jeff Sapa to the lead. Here we go. 22 laps to go. Zappa is your leader, followed by Garmi, followed by Rome, and Percy, and the Man Slammer, and Dan Tuma, and Jimmy Johnson, and Chris Parker a lap down, hanging on to the rear. So let's monitor the gaps here. Eric Stoy, so they made, that group made it up to eighth. They're eighth and ninth there. Uh, they're about 4.3 back. Uh, that was the gap at the line. I can tell you right now it is coming down. So what they are doing and what the front group is doing is working. They will catch them. It's going to take a little bit, um, but we're going to have a full pack here uh, to uh, settle this thing before the end of this race. I, you know, I, I want to say the smartest thing these guys up at the front could do would be to just all get single file as well and then you know, match what the group behind is doing. And then with like maybe 10 laps to go, then, you know, get double file because you'll you'll have stabilized that gap. There's not enough time with 10 laps to go for them to make that up then. But they are coming. I mean, this group, they have it down the, it was four and a half seconds to start that lap. And already what, uh, before this lap's done, it's, uh, it's at 387. So they are closing the gap. I'll have to monitor that. They should make it up to the front in time. And I guarantee there will be fireworks at the end of this bad boy. <laughs> if they come across the line just like this, I'd be shocked. I guarantee there's going to be trucks going left, trucks going right, trucks going to the moon and the fence, down the inside wall. There's no way they come across just like this. If they do, I would definitely be shocked. Oh, Chris Parker jumped in the chat. You got speed. I figured it had to be something like that because you came in in the lead and uh, Yeah, you definitely should have come out right about with these guys. So that sucks Chris That stinks that that happened. Maybe you'll get a caution here and get that lap back and and uh, And be able to fight for this thing Uh, Stoy Boy and Godsey got the gap down to about 3.7. It's hanging around there. Um, well, these guys are starting to get a little straighter here, so might be getting the picture. Looks like they are coming up to lap uh, Mr. Springer. Now, will the top guys use him as a pick? I mean, it, it, you know, it's it's... I, I guess the thing they tell you is, and, and I've made the mistake myself, the easiest thing to do is to hold your line and let the lead cars, they'll find their way around you. Sometimes when you do too much to try to get out of their way, you end up causing something dumb or you hit the wall because you're trying too hard to let them. As he pulls up high. But usually it's the, the lead, the leaders will find a way around. You know, you don't usually have to try so hard to get out of the way. They'll, they'll, they'll make a hole. Um, and I'm guilty of it as well. A couple times uh, I did it in the Coke 600. I was trying so hard to get out of the guy's way, not impact it, and I bounced off the outside wall and wiped out first and second. So anyway, um, we've got about 17 laps to go here. Um, so they've lost a little ground. Eric Stoy and that group, uh, they were at, they had it down to 3.7. Now it's up at 4.25. So don't know what they did. I mean, they're, this group right here isn't quite as side by side as they were, so that might attribute to it. Um, let me see if we can go back there and see how synchronized they are. Hey, I mean, look at AJ. AJ's uh, eating uh, Story Boy's tailpipe there. You can't get much organized than that. Um, the other boys need to get up there a little bit. And, and, and it, again, it is tough. It's not easy to, you know, to tuck in behind like that. It's very stressful. And it's not the easiest thing to do. And when you have a group like uh, Soy Boy and, and Godsey there, uh, 
tucked as close. There you go. Now they're getting synchronized. Tucked that close. Sometimes, like that makes them so fast where the car, the third car back there can't suck up because they're just so fast as a tandem. So that, that sometimes happens too. Uh, some, so what you can do to try to allow the other trucks is kind of trail brake a little bit, drag your brake in the corner a little bit to let them suck up to you as well. You know. But, uh, let's see what the gap is. All right, they're bringing it back down now. They got organized there. Oh, we got a wreck. Uh, looks like Larry Ashby. Looks like he was, oh, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe the steering wheel cut out. It looks like he, uh, holy moly, brought out the lawnmower. That's for sure. Oh, man, that might be a steering wheel fail right in front of the pack. Oh, no. Oh, man. Not sure what happened there. Um. Darn. I know he didn't. That was not on purpose. I, that, that looks like a steering wheel fail or, or something. Let's see if I can. Oh, I didn't see what happened to Garmin. What in the heck? And I missed a ton of crap. Uh, okay. Uh, back to the live feed. I didn't even see what happened to Garmin there, but I'm assuming he got turned. Uh, and somehow we stayed green through all that, so. Uh, okay. Kind of a lot happened. Bill Percy is your leader. Uh, Jeff Zappa second. Jimmy Johnson third. Mark Dantuma is fourth. Jason Rome is fifth. Eric Stoy, AJ Gatsi is seventh. Uh, they're still about four seconds back because uh, that group kind of got taken out there. So that might have hurt their chances here with 14 to go. I don't know that they'll make it up now. Um, it looks like Hinkle was involved. That's a shame. I'm not sure what happened to Larry there. It looks like part of his system might have malfunctioned and just kind of turned him straight right. I know sometimes if you're running VR and stuff, that will, uh, if the VR goes out, it'll do that too, or your truck just goes crazy. It's not you doing it. What a story this is. Bill per could Bill Percy grab his, uh, grab the old win here at Dega? He's having a good year in the trucks. Be awesome for him to grab a win here. He's kind of, it's tough to play both lanes, but, um, you know, you're, you're out in front of at least one lane, so that makes your shot 50-50, right? Zappa ain't going to give it away easy, though. Zappa wants this win, too, so I think it'll be a, a tough fight either way. Uh, looks like um, Jeff Zappa has Chris Parker pushing him. That's a shame. Uh, Chris Parker said he got a speeding penalty, so that's why he uh, lost his lap and is back here fighting for this. That's a shame that happened. That stinks. I've had that happen to myself. It sucks. You're praying for a caution, and a lot of times it never comes. Uh, move Jeff Zappa to the lead. Bill Percy tucked right up behind him. He's out the back of Jeff. Whoa. You can see the crinkles in the uh, in the uh, front bumper of Bill Percy's truck. Mark Dantuma making a pass on the outside there. Got 11 laps to go, coming up on 10 to go. These boys are getting single filed out here. Don't look now. Uh, I think AJ and Eric are two seconds back. Uh, let me see where, I think they're gonna catch them. Let me see, I'm reading that correctly. Oh yeah, they're a coming boy. They are there. They will definitely catch this pack. Oh, they're pitting. I didn't realize we had another set of pit stops. I, I think this is going to get very interesting here. Uh, looks like Brandon came in along with him. Mike Smith, 
uh, Stoyboy, Godsey, and Brandon Springer. I look for Jeff in this group to probably come this lap to counteract that. You don't want to go too much. You don't want to give them two full laps uh, locked up like that, or you will be finding yourself out of the lead. So again, this is the money stop here. You do not want to speed on this. I mean, you saw what happened to Chris Parker. He can tell you. Uh, and that was in the middle of the race, you know, where you had a ton of time hoping for a caution. We got 10 laps to go here. You do not want to mess this stop up because more than likely it will cost you the race. Let's see if they come now. I mean, you uh, if they don't come now, they're going to give uh, AJ and them boys two laps to, uh, oh, I think this is a mistake. I think this is a mistake. Unless they don't have to pit, because AJ and them did come in uh, a little bit earlier, it is possible that uh, because they didn't have the drafting help right away uh, that they shorted themselves on fuel. Austin Collins in the chat, uh, rooting Stoy Boy on. Yeah, we'll have to see, Austin. Uh, they, they definitely made the right pitch strategy there. I just don't know if the other trucks have to come in. Uh, if they do, um, I like their chances because uh, these boys in front here stayed out, and you don't want to give them too many laps linked up like that because they'll make a lot of ground up on you. So we'll see if they pit this time. Again, I don't know. Maybe they don't have to pit. No, it looks like they're getting down to come in. Maybe not. Jeff Zappa, your leader. Bill Percy, second. Jason Rome is third. Mark Dantuma is fourth, but he has a lap truck of uh, Chris Parker in front of him. And Jimmy Johnson is fifth. This is your group right here with eight to go. Um, if they do not pit, this is the battle for the win. Um, Oh, it looks like uh, Jimmy Johnson might have got in. Uh, sorry, Jason Rowe might have got in the Bill Percy there a little bit. Got him a little loose, but they saved it. No harm, no foul. Everybody's okay. Right now, AJ, Eric, and Mike are about 40, 40 seconds back uh, and, and closing. So they're, they're making ground. Um, so if this group has to pit, I like, I think AJ, Eric, and Mike are going to come out as the leaders. They are pitting. Here they come. Oh, and looks like we almost had a mishap there. Bill Percy locks up the brakes. We're going to check the battle. I think they lose the lead because they went too many laps. We're going to see. Let's uh, let's get on Story Boy here and see where they're at. They're on the back stretch. They got a nice three. I mean, they got they are hooked up. That's how you run that. Three trucks. Tight like that. I think these boys are going to be your leaders. I really do. Uh, looks like Jimmy Johnson was not able to get to pit road. Or he took fuel only. Jeff Zappa and the boys are still on pit road. I think these guys are going to do it. Jeff Zappa is out of pit road now. It's going to be super close. Mark Dantuma is out. Bill Percy's out. It's going to be real close. We're going to keep it on here and see. Man Slammer. They passed him. It's going to be. They're going to get him. Yep. They're going to get... Uh, Jason Rome they picked off. Let's see. So close. The other boys are a little bit ahead. Oh, they're there. Maybe not. They're about two. They're about two seconds. Looks like Zappa's all by himself. I think they're going to catch the group in front, and I think the group in front is going to catch Zappa. Jeff Zappa is all alone out here leading this thing. Uh, we're going to stay on him. We're going to see if they can run him down. He's got... Oh, they're definitely running him down. Yeah, th this is your worst nightmare. Uh, I mean, he had a great pit stop. Don't get me wrong. He nailed his pit stop, you know, and got out in front. But the problem is uh, the drafting help behind. And there is AJ and Stoy Boy. They are there. They are there. They're going to go right to the high side. And Oh, Bill Percy's not dumb. He's Oh, they're not letting him do it either. They move to the outside. Move. This is going to put Eric and AJ to the lead. Oh, my goodness. What a move by those two to get up there. And they brought Mike Smith along with them. Move uh, Eric Stoyboy and AJ Gatsy and Mike Smith to the lead. We still have six laps. But when those boys get hooked up like that, uh, it smells, that spells bad news for the rest of the field. Uh, so we're going to see. Uh, looks like uh, Austin Collins, you might get your wish. Story Boy is uh, leading the race right now. Looks 
So we need uh, Zappa and Mark Dantuma, Jimmy Johnson, Bill Percy. They need to kind of tuck in behind these guys and make a run at the end. Looks like uh, Bill Percy and Jeff Zappa to the outside. They, they're they going to push uh, Mike Smith aside. Uh, if Mark Dantuma can get up there, he might have some, you know, then it'll make it a three-on-three. Three, but right now, the three on the bottom, I think, are going to overpower the uh, two on the top. Mark Dantuma needs to get up there. Let's see if he can push uh, Zappa and Percy. Uh, looks like Mark's going to drop to the inside, actually, and maybe get some position and hope that they'll push him, I guess. Four laps to go, ladies and gentlemen, and you have your two turtle trucks out here leading the field. Uh, they worked uh, the whole race to get here. It took them all race, but by really good uh, pitch strategy and just, uh, you know, I mean, AJ's one of the best pushers. Um, they made it work. All right, so now you got four laps to go. It's okay to side draft. What Bill Percy needs to do, uh, Jeff Zappa, they need to get right on their, uh, the doors of the uh the trucks side of them and uh, stall their their momentum and use it to propel themselves forward. Otherwise, they are not going up there with just those two. They need to Bill needs to get tighter on the door. It's definitely more riskier, but now it's it's warranted to uh, take that risk. And I'm not saying Story jumps up there and don't block it, but I don't think he's leaving AJ. I wouldn't leave AJ. There you go, now they're tucking down. Got to stall that out, that momentum out. Three laps to go. Okay, so they're all they're all single file now. Um, there you go, Jeff. Got to got to get on that door. Two laps to go at the line here. Two to go. I hate to say it, but I don't know that uh, that anybody's getting to these two up here. I really don't. Uh, those trucks were also painted. Uh, by uh, Eric Stoy as well. Turtle trucks. Uh, there is, let's give Brandon some love here. You got Raphael back here as well. Up, oh, he's off track. There you go, you gotta get tight. You gotta get tight. You gotta want it, baby. Nicole, they're coming up to lap. Nicole, they could, oh, they, they got to the side of them. This is gonna make it interesting, you gotta get tight. You gotta get tight to their door, baby. Oh, they're gonna get into them. There's gonna be a big wreck. Uh, Zappa got into uh, AJ final lap. Uh, that is it. That We have no caution. That's gonna do it. Eric Story's gonna be your winner. Uh, oh, it looks like Bill might have hooked uh, Zappa into AJ. Oh, that's a shame. That should give Story Boy the win. He's all alone, but I don't think he needs anything from here on out. That should be your checkered here. Eric Stoy coming down to take the checkered, and I don't think he's going to have any competition. Mark Dantum was close, but I don't think he's going to have enough. Eric Stoy is your winner. Mark Dantuma second, Michael Smith third, Jimmy Johnson fourth, Jason Rome is fifth, AJ Godsey comes home sixth, Jeff Zappa seventh, Van Slammer eighth, uh, Jeff Hinkle is ninth, David Garman Jr. tenth, DJ Kinner eleventh, Gerald Poole is twelfth, Nicole Creasel is thirteenth, uh, Chris Parker makes his way back to fourteenth, Bill Percy fifteenth and out, John Smith is sixteen and out, Brandon Springer out in seventeenth, Larry Ashby eighteenth also out, Brian Oshenska is nineteenth out, and Norman Chan I do believe did not start.
Let's see if we can pull, uh, let's pull Storyboy in here. Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Eric Stoy, this is Rich up in the booth. Do you got a copy? Yeah, I'm here. Yo, tell me about that strategy. It took the entire race, but God it darn, did. man, you guys, uh, you, you guys nailed it. Perfect strategy. I mean, I know you had the best pusher ever in AJ behind you, so let's be honest. But uh, to walk us through it. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, it's pretty much anyone's strategy. You just stay in the back because you know there's gonna be wrecks and everything, and uh, we are just playing out the fuel, see when we need to pit, pit early, and then we'll pit early again. And then, uh, I, yeah, and you're right, AJ is, is the best pusher, and at the end, I feel bad for AJ for getting hit. But yeah, it, it looked happened. like, uh, from what I saw, it looked like Bill got into the back of Zappa a little bit, and it turned Zappa into uh, AJ, and then, you know, all hell broke loose after that. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, that's restricted for yeah. rates, and so... Yes, it is. Well, uh, hell of a race, man. Hell of a drive by both you, AJ, all everybody. Uh, congratulations on the win, man. Go, go burn that mother down. Thanks. It's uh, nice being back in victory lane. Ten four, bud. You earned it. <laughs> Thanks. Let's get Mike Smith.